Hi, I'm Karen Bates. We're here in Anderson Valley at the Apple Farm. This is my brother Johnny, who has his own business down the road, the Boonville Hotel. The Apple Farm is often where we gather during holidays. It's a good spot to bring everybody together at the end of our harvest season. We're gonna do mashed potatoes, and uh, it's not usually my job to do the mashed potatoes. It used to be always my dad, and so Johnny gets to step into his footsteps and carry on the tradition. We're gonna start with some uh, russet potatoes, and we're gonna peel them. These have a lot of starch in them, and so they're very, they work really well as mashed potatoes because that starch is part of what makes the creaminess of the potatoes. As far as potatoes, you kind of figure about a half a potato per person. We're gonna put a generous heaping of salt in there, probably oh, a couple tablespoons. So sometimes we add some garlic uh, into the potatoes. Lately, we've just been throwing a couple whole cloves in there. They'll soften and cook with the potatoes as they do. And I also um, add a couple of bay leaves in there and just adds a nice little flavor. Karen's gonna mix the milk and uh, milk or cream and butter. And we're gonna warm that up and get that ready. Um, everything needs to be warm as you put this together. So we had about six potatoes, so about six tablespoons, something like that. Cream, I, you know, we're gonna probably use oh, about a cup and a half, I'd say, for this, for six potatoes. Put the potatoes on the stove here. And I put the cream on a low, low heat. You don't want, want to boil that, especially if it's milk. You want to keep it on kind of just melt, melt it at a low, low temperature. And the potatoes will cover. So we'll let that go for a set of timer for about 15 minutes and check them. And then check them every five minutes after that until it's done. Well, we've taken the potatoes off the stove. Um, we cooked them until they're just nice and soft. That you don't want to overcook them. The starch will come out. So we've got the potatoes here. We're going to discard the bay leaf. Reserve about oh, a cup or two at least of the potato water to add that back if we need the moisture. You want to start, actually I'm going to season them. I'm going to start with a little salt. It's all the water, but we're going to put a little salt here. And uh, we're going to mash them dry first. Once again, not overworking them, but you're really, you're mashing, you're mashing them versus beating them. The beating would increase the gluten and you can get very gluey potatoes at that point. We're going to go ahead and start adding some of the buttercream mixture we've warmed up. You want everything warm and work that in. They'll absorb quite a bit of uh, liquid. I'm gonna add some fresh, we're gonna take some of the pepper ground, pepper that we ground, uh, toasted a minute ago. Take a little bit of that in here. I'm go ahead and work in the last of this butter and cream. They'll tighten up as they sit, so, um, you definitely, you want to get them, you want them on the wet side to say at this point. We've got these finished now and if there's, they seem a little dry after you've added your butter and your cream and you don't want to add any more, um, always just take a little reserved liquid uh, potato water and add that because that'll have some of the flavor of the potatoes and you work that in and get them just, you want, you want them light and fluffy but you don't want them too, so thick that you can't spoon them onto the plate. Feel free to change things up and move around. That's the whole fun of Thanksgiving. Let the kids jump in and have a good time. That's what it's all about. Thanks.